This module will focus on fluency as one of the five components of reading development. We're looking at the five components that the National Reading Panel has outlined as crucial pillars to reading development. Fluency is the ability to read a text accurately and quickly. Now, fluency is important because it provides a bridge between word recognition and comprehension. Speech language pathologists and teachers use this term differently, so let's be careful and make sure we're using the, the word in the same way. Fluency to a speech pathologist may often refer to a student who stutters, and so I want to just be really clear that right now what we're talking about is the fluency that a, ch a child reads, um, and that rate is such a crucial factor for the student's ability to comprehend what they're reading. So it's important that we really balance fluency and comprehension. A student may read fast, but with insufficient comprehension. And so what we want to do is interventions to help students access the vocabulary and their comprehension by getting through the text in a smooth way, by understanding the punctuation and when to pause. All of those subtle cues that we as fluent readers take for granted can really prevent a child from understanding the full intention that the author had. What we want to do to build a child's fluency is to give practice with reading out loud. Provide text at the student's independent reading level. Have them read a, perhaps you read a short passage and have the student read it back. Intonation becomes a big part of reading fluency because when a student reads the text in a flat, monotone voice, they often miss the meaning of a quote or some subtlety that was meant to be inferred through the way the author used their voice. We want students to practice reading with emotion and practice reading with the inflection based on punctuation. Students may want to practice reading along with an audio version of the text. This is an excellent way to learn appropriate pronunciation and phrasing. This also allows the student to, to try out and practice their fluency in a safe way instead of in front of their peers. However, fluent decoders can also be inaccurately perceived as having good comprehension. So it's not that only fluency leads to good comprehension, as we know vocabulary is a big piece of that as well. So as you progress through these different stages of reading development, phonemic awareness, phonics, and fluency, please be sure to account for each one of those pillars being well developed and strong so that they fuel each other instead of becoming a barrier to the student's ability to learn to read.